it's time for another Dollar Tree haul. And I haven't been going this much. I went this week and I'd gone a few weeks ago. So this is a combination of the, those two times. And I found a couple of the items on my wish list. But I still have a few that I'm still looking for. So I found the Milani Crystal Eyes. And these I've seen other people haul quite a while ago. And it got mixed reviews. I've seen some that people really liked them. And I've seen some where they didn't like them. So I'm going to try it out. And I'll let you know how I feel. This one is like a gold color. This one's it's called Brilliantly or Beautifully Brilliant. It's a purple with some little specks. So they're really like sparkly and I I like sparkles. So I'm excited to try them. And this one's kind of like a bluish gray. Delightfully dazzling. So, if you don't like sparkle, then these are not for you. But for me, I do like it a little bit, maybe for a nighttime look. So, I was happy because Milani is just way more than a dollar. So, anytime you see Milani, it's usually you know a good deal. And I found these really cute little owl lip glosses. I did open one. And I just bought these for like for decorative. They look kind of like the Rubo little chap lip balms. And these just look like a decorative version of it. So that's why I bought these cute little owls. Put them on my, in my dressing room somewhere. And Lip Smackers, I was happy to find this. This one is called Dreamy Pop and it's like a sparkly pink. Kind of like the cotton candy pink. Really light. Uh, I really like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> lip glosses that are kind of like a light color and with a little bit of sparkle. And then here was, that was Lip Smackers. This one's Bonnie Bell and I just love those colors. They're definitely colors that I wear a lot. Kind of the pink and the taupey colors. Really pretty. And here is an e.l.f. eyeshadow, Party Purple. And e.l.f. is kind of another brand that's very inexpensive and it's hit or miss, but I've really found most of the hits. So I'm excited to try one of their eyeshadows and see how that works. And this is like a three pack of gum of watermelon extra and of course we opened it so I just have the last pack here in the bag yeah that was the hit <laughs> and my eyelash curler broke so I just bought one just as kind of out of desperation because I'm going to be ordering one from Amazon. So hopefully that'll work until my other one comes. And Sally Hansen's Magnetic Nail Polish. It's kind of like a gray color. And I have no idea why they call this magnetic. We'll see. I kind of don't want things like sticking to my nails. Maybe it's just the color. I don't know. And some washi tape. This is the really sparkly kind. It has like little like glitter on it. And this is the turquoise color. I found a gold. Oh, here you can see it. The gold. They're really pretty. And here's another pink. It's like magenta pink. So pretty. And lady seed stick. 
essentials, moisturizing body wash, and this is lavender garden. I had seen the bar soap, but I have never seen like the body washes. So I'll let you know if these are any good. But Yardley is a brand, more of a brand name. It's not a, like a Dollar Tree brand, so I'm thinking it's pretty good. But I bought two of them, so I'll find it. And I bought some flowers, just like for my hair. But also they come with a, like a pen that you could use it to put on like a jacket or something. So it's not just for your hair. It could be like for your clothes. I just, I opened one and I saw that. I'll show you the back. It has like a clip and then like a pen, like for a brooch, whichever you decide to wear. So I thought these were cute for spring. Try to do a lot of different things with my hair, so that'll come in handy. And I, I did buy a few of the um, like perfumes and all that good stuff. This is the Million for Men. And I purchased this before and it's really good. I bought the original for my husband and he really liked it. And I bought the dupe for it, like one from the Dollar Tree tree first. And then I liked it so much that I decided to buy the original. And they smell, you know, very similar. This one is definitely a lighter version and it doesn't last as long, but it definitely smells very, very similar. So try out those perfumes or colognes. They're not bad. Bought some Assured Sleep Aid, which is, it says, compared to Vicks Zequil liquid caps. So I've never tried those. One of these days I'll get the original and compare them to see if they're really, you know, the same. And these are, I've purchased before, electronic wipes, which are really good. And I desperately needed these, so I'm happy they had them. Colgate toothpaste, and I always try to buy those like whitening type, especially when it's like a Colgate or any other type of brand. Another Yardley Essential. This is the almond blossom, and they seem like they're really they're gonna be decent ones. Like it seems like a really heavy bottle. So I'm hoping they're more concentrated and not as watery. Another deodorant, Team Spirit. This is the one, if I don't buy Lady Speed Stick, I love how this one smells. It's really good. It's the Pink Crush. A few more of the Jordache perfumes. This is Eternity. And I, that used to be my favorite perfume. And I just love the original. The original really was really nice. And I haven't worn it forever, so I'll be curious to see if I like this one. Trust me, I love to get the originals, and I, I probably will. But they're nice to have, just like little backups. And then my number one favorite perfume for myself is Angel by Terry Mugler. And that's the one, if you've seen it, it's in the bottle, it's like a star. And, I, and that one is my absolute favorite. But this one is pretty good. I bought it before and I did run out of it. So until I buy a 
an original bottle. This will do. Which the original is about $85 and up. So it'll be a while. Headbands, I just go through these. I don't know what happens to them. I buy them and then they just disappear. Those and like ponytail holders, they just totally disappear. And I have no clue how these hair donuts work, but they're to make a bun and I just usually made a bun, you know, using my own hair. But I was curious to see if these things really work and it really doesn't matter what color because you're, that you buy, your hair is going to cover it. But they have little directions on the back, so I'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know about this one, but everyone's been hauling them, so I'm going to give it a try. And I don't even know if this, like, all my hair is going to fit in this little thing. We'll see. I have a lot of hair, which is a good thing, I guess. Um, another nail polish. This is Maybelline New York, the Color Show nail polish, and it's in a purple color. It's really pretty. I've been really trying to paint my nails more, so I've been buying a little bit more nail polish, and going through all my older ones and tossing them. And my last Dollar Tree, I, oh no, I have one more. Oh, here it is. Another washi tape. It's the Paris one. So it has like the Eiffel Tower. I've been looking for this one. Um, I love anything Paris themed. Hopefully one day I and I'm just happy that I actually found this. If you can see it, it there's like the Eiffel Tower here. Super cool. And one book by Kelly James Ember. Did you get the vibe? This book looks pretty good. I just love the books there. I mean, for a dollar, it says originally in the U.S. $12.95 and in Canada $17.95. I mean, wow, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Now I just have all those books to read and I have started some and they've been pretty good. And from my Instagram friends, I did see that at Dollar General, Right after Valentine's Day, like the and the first weeks in March, I believe, they had a big sale at Dollar General, and a lot of the stuff was sixty cents that I found, and originally they were like two dollars, so I picked up some lip glosses. This is My Little Pony. I don't know if you could see how cute that is, but this is really, has like a little bit of a sparkle. I'm not sure if it's like inside or the bottle, but I bought a few of them. So I bought this blueberry one. And this was so cute, Care Bears. I mean, when did we see the Care Bears? I don't know, do they like come back? with a new show but this one's blueberry flavored and it's the graphics are so cute on them and I love the My Little Pony and of course I had to get a pink one so these were two dollars originally and I got them for 60 cents so that was a good deal and another hair bear which I don't really go at Dollar General. I only went because I wanted these lip glosses. And here's a raspberry purple My Little Pony. And they're just so cute. I just 
love them. And they had these little tiny perfumes. They were in packaging, but I, this is the second time filming, so I opened them. But they had Chantilly again for 60 cents. And now I can tell you how it smells. Smells nice. It's a little stronger of a scent than I normally use, but it, I definitely not bad. I swear this is from like the early 80s. So I had to buy one. And then they had this old or something baby. Let's see what I think about it. It has like a really clean smell. I don't know how to describe it. So this is Navy. Again, it was 60 cents from, I believe, two or a little bit more, two dollars or more. And Taboo. This one's kind of like an Oriental. Oriental kind of spicy vanilla. But I was surprised. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this because I don't know if I've ever smelled it, but it's not bad. But I love little tiny bottles, so that's really why I got these. So that was from Dollar General. And one more item, I went to Family Dollar. All these different dollars. Um, Family Dollar looking for Hello Kitty perfume. And it was supposed to be on sale and someone found it and ours just didn't have it. But I did find a preferred fragrance, Fantasy by Britney Spears, or their impression of it. And I, I really liked this. It kind of tastes like a really... Kind of sweet. I, w I describe everything like cotton candy, but kind of that sweet girly smell. And it just has such a pretty bottle. So I just bought this. I think it was like $3. Normally you could find these at Big Lots, but I've never seen this one there. So that's everything. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye.